is death? And what is it like to be dead? These are questions which have long uh, haunted and fascinated uh, human beings. Uh, some wag once said that death is simply nature's way of telling us to slow down. Uh, it's, for many people, a depressing topic. Uh, it's a good way to end conversation, to introduce death, the 800-pound gorilla uh, in the room, and people immediately uh, take flight. They look for the exit. Uh, it's the final cancellation uh, of what it is anyone is capable of becoming. Uh, it's a kind of horizon towards which we move. It's the last act, and as Pascal reminds us, uh, it is certain to prove bloody. But I've always had uh, a lively interest in death, uh, and to that end, I've written a book uh, about death, which uh, I have entitled Still Point. Uh, Ave Maria Press uh, at Notre Dame, uh, Indiana, brought it out uh, recently, uh, and I'd like to talk about it. Uh, the title, Still Point, is not my own. Uh, it's an image uh, indispensable to the poetry of T.S. Eliot. It comes from the Four Quartets, uh, which is his poetic masterpiece. Uh, it's a profound uh, and searching meditation on death and life and eternity uh, and uh, its collision with time there at the still point of the turning world, the point of intersection where time, eternity, heaven, history, nature, grace, God, and man come together. They converge. In fact, uh, they collide. So that's the title, but it wasn't the original title. My working hypothesis had been desperate desire, uh, and uh, therein uh, lies a story. When I was a, a young boy, I, I found myself suddenly lost uh, at a park. Uh, I was only lost for about five or six minutes because I was quickly rescued by people who came to my aid. But when you're a child, being lost is uh, a kind of eternal predicament because you have no prospect of, of being rescued. Uh, and so I was desperate uh, uh, in my desire to be found, uh, to be rescued by those uh, I love. And so that image, like uh, a firecracker, uh, kept going off in my head, the image of desperate desire. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a moment's uh, uh, purview of, uh, of, of Google uh, would reveal uh, the extent, uh, however unwitting, of my folly, because nowadays the associations we have with desperate desire are almost all of them uh, sexualized. But desperate desire does persist, I think, as a true image of man's genuine, profound longing for God. We have a natural thirst for Him, a hunger uh, for God. It's constitutive of who we are, and it's indispensable uh, in knowing who we might hope to become. This basic thrust, this eros, this seething desire for God. It's greater, it's more insistent than the desire for sex or shelter or security or power. And that's what I write about in the book. Uh, and I invite you to uh, read the book uh, and uh, may you be galvanized by its message because it is ultimately a message of hope. Uh, you would not be looking for me, says Jesus, if you had not already found me. Uh, nobody wants to go alone uh, through that door of death, but faith tells us that we have a companion who is there to welcome us into the arms of God. Uh, and the book I wrote is an exploration of that theme, that deepest of, of human mysteries. Uh, I, I hope you like it. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm.